Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capi, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Welcome to your reading, your next major changes. We're going to be looking at the huge new chapters, new people, new occurrences that are about to come into your life. So it is a timeless reading and it is for Earth Signs. It can be to the cross, which is dealing with an Earth sign as well. So um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you'd like to become a channel member and get access to member-only content, you can do so via the link below. Otherwise, let's have a look and see Earth Signs. Next major changes. Okay, potentially a third party situation coming up here. I feel like deception is going to come to the surface. So what I'm seeing here, Earth Signs, is that anyone that's not being completely honest with you, I feel like that's going to come to your knowledge. I feel like some information is going to come to light here that's going to prove someone's true intentions for you. And now this could be make or break, Earth Signs. Some of you could end up walking away. Um, some of you could end up seeking an apology or giving an apology. Uh, some of you might be making amends or some of you might be cutting something off entirely. Like, I feel like anything that sort of you've been tiptoeing around, anything that sort of anyone's trying to trick you or put it over you, like legally or professionally or uh, romantically, this might come to light. You're getting some news here with the Eight of Wands and I feel like it's it's news about the next chapter here for you. Okay. Regardless, I feel like the Three of Pentacles is like the mediator. So, I mean, that's a good sign because I feel like you're going to sort through this where you need to. Um, it's going to happen all in good timing here. So just trust. I'm going to move this a bit. Um, just trust that it's all part of the process, Earth Signs. Um, the High Priestess, I feel like something's going to be revealed to you and it's something you've been quite intuitive about. So you've had an in, a feeling or an intuition about this next chapter and I feel like you're absolutely spot on and your intuition is being very, very precise into revealing what's about to come here for you. High Priestess can also be pregnancy. So some of you, there might be a child, the planning of a family or meeting someone who wants a family, already has a family. So you might be meeting someone around this this family dynamic um, or starting a family appears to be happening here so I do feel like for some of you it's going into the unknown and I feel for others you are opening up a huge spiritual or religious chapter in your life you might be visiting temples or going to church or reading up about spirituality or religion, attending a class of some kind. I really feel like this this change is going to initiate you into more spiritual depths and it's going to be huge because I feel like a lot of you are going to unlock a secret ability. It could also be some sort of talent, um, skill or ability. You don't really know you had earth signs, but I feel like it's going to come to the surface here and it's something you'll be able to work with. Um, and you might even make some money out of it. I feel like there is a chapter of negotiation that's coming up. Now, this could be like a settlement. This could be negotiating a relationship. This could be counters or counter, uh, counter offers, I should say, for like homes or deeds or property or estates or anything like this. So I feel like I see you negotiating something here. It could also be a very important meeting. Um, someone might be scouting you for your talents. You might be approached by someone. Could be a group work thing, a collaborative project that's coming up. That's going to be really helpful for you. It's going to keep your mind sharp and you'll be super motivated and focused as well. I feel like there's going to be a lot on your plate. I know there's a fire sign coming through. There might be someone from a distance that wants to connect with you. Could be someone from a different city, state or country. Um, it could be like more romantic is what I'm seeing here. So I feel like there's definitely some sort of attraction or romance happening with the Page of Wands. It may be with someone younger, um, but I feel like it's kind of exciting. It's a bit of feeling. It's it's kind of like a feeling of a buzz or an excitement or a magic in the air. So the High Priestess is magic as well. So I feel like it's quite a magical chapter that you're entering into. And some of you could be relocating. I see you either planning a trip, 
relocating to visit someone. It could be moving in with a particular person, your loved one, moving in with a friend. There could be a moving situation for some of you. And I think it's going to possibly follow this Seven of Swords coming to light here. Like, I feel like you're clearing out any sort of dishonest people in your life, like friends, exes, relationships, anyone that's sort of not been genuine with you. I feel like you're going to clear that out. And from this, you know what I get? I feel like from this clearing out, whoever was honest with you and told you these things, that's the person you're going to bond with in the end. That's the person who you're going to build a connection with. Um, it could be romantic as well. Um, I feel like there is a romantic message with the Eight of Wands. There's someone that's coming in. It could be like um, a text or a message or an email. And it has the potential to change your love life. It's possibly someone you've desired or someone you've had your eye on for quite some time. They may be coming forward and confessing their love for you, um, Earth Signs. I wouldn't be surprised. But even if they do have ulterior motives, like that Seven of Swords, you'll be able to see right through it. You'll see it for what it is. You'll see them for who they are because this clarity... It's almost like you have this radar, this BS radar, if you will. And it's like anyone that's coming up that's non-genuine, that's disingenuous, that's not real, that isn't 100% down for you, like, you'll know. You'll know it straight away. The high priestess will tell you. So I also feel like there's a, a passion that's coming up, um, but I feel like it's undiscovered. And I feel like anxiety or stress is going to lead you to that. So you might be stressing about work stuff, relationships, where you're at in life, like questioning, am I where I wanted to be? People are at this stage. Why shouldn't I be there? You know, you're like questioning something. So I feel like it's an anxiety, but it's going to lead you to some passion of yours. And it's going to be productive in a sense where it's going to help you deal with that sort of maybe insecurities or anxieties or stresses that you have. And it's going to help you manage that better. So you know, not all stress is bad because sometimes we can find different outlets for it. And I think in your case, this is going to actually lead you to something that could be super, super fun um, and just right for you in general. So, you know, I like this. I feel like you've got huge, huge changes coming up, Earth Signs, but I'm going to leave it there, Taurus, Cabby, Virgo. Thank you again, everyone, for watching. It does mean a lot. Um, don't forget to subscribe, join for membership if you'd like to, and also email me if you are after a private reading. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll chat soon. So thanks again, everyone. Take care.